and to the greatest fans in the world, the Los Angeles Lakers fans, here's your trophy. Dr. Buss, 16 NBA championships, back-to-back -back championships. Free throw shooting team, get to the free throw line. Miller, box right up on him. Crozier, Harper's got him on a mismatch. Crozier, turnaround, big shot, way short. Shot grabs it and immediately, like a hot potato, gets rid of it so they can't foul him.
It's down to a seven-point deficit. Now remember now, you cannot foul Shaq off the basketball. It will be away from the ball. Foul will be one shot in the basketball. So the only way they can foul him is if he catches it in the post. So will the Lakers throw him the ball right now with him struggling? Both teams are over the foul limit. One minute remaining on the floor. Roger Bell defending on Kobe Bryant. And it's Dwayne Jones against the kid on the Six of 12 from the field. All six have been three-pointers. A magnificent run, but it will be the Los Angeles Lakers winning a second straight NBA title. And they'll make it 8-0 and on the road in the playoffs. And that is a record for the most consecutive road wins in a single uh, postseason. Aaron McKee from downtown with 42 seconds left. So it's a seven-point game. Iverson looking for the steal and commits his fifth foul. So Robert Ory is headed to the line. It's like Larry Brown is going to take out some of his players so they can get the recognition from this crowd. Allen Iverson getting ready to sit down and listen to this moment. It's been a spectacular season for the most valuable player. Adam Iverson. Standing ovation for Iverson. 37 points for Iverson with 40 seconds remaining. And the various 76ers applauding the crowd as Robert Ory extends to an eight-point lead. Well, if Robert Ory would have missed these two free throws, it would have been a seven-point game. Might have been a little early, but if he buries them both, it's nine, and it'll be decided. So Larry Brown wanted his, his team to be able to get the recognition as Ory steps up and knocks them both in. It's a nine-point lead. That's three threes, three possessions. A chant of MVP from the crowd honoring Allen Iverson as time has run out on the 76ers. Buford, Fisher on the rebound, and once again, an enormous game for Derek Fisher. The celebration has begun on the Laker bench. Coming up on 10 seconds remaining, and the Los Angeles Lakers will make it a second straight NBA crowd. Looking to run it down. That's the way it's gone for the Lakers, who finish with a 15-1 run. The best all-time playoff winning percentage in the history of the league. Back in, in 95. The only tears tonight will be tears of joy. And look, Phil Jackson has put Mitch Richmond in. First time he's appeared in the NBA Finals. Mitch Richmond, who had knee problems during the course of the season, just made a uh, brief appearance against the uh, Sacramento Kings in the Western Conference Final. Coming up on one minute remaining in this fourth quarter, and Lucius Harris is able to hit the Lakers now, lead 108 to 101. <laughs> Look at how Robert Ory did. Yes, he, he gets the ball inbound. Perfect. But the, the, the Lakers are going to make the Nets work for every shot and use as much time with each possession as they can. O'Neal is fouled by McCullough. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the crowd didn't appreciate that little extra face creep from Kobe. Oh, come on. They didn't. You hear them going, don't you? What do you think those boos are for? What's wrong with that? He plays until the, it's over. This is the home team getting smacked here. That's what's wrong with that. That's over the foul limit. Nice gesture, though, by Phil Jackson inserting Mitch Richmond here in the final minutes. Mitch will be on a championship team for the first time in, in 14 years. We're talking about an illustrious career. We go back to his earlier days with Sacramento and Golden 
Arizona State? He was Sacramento. And for all those years, when he was carrying that team and they were losing, all he wanted to do was get in the playoffs. And he just wishes he could have done more to help the team. There's Kenyon Martin. So it's 109. 103. Martin has 35. He's uh, had a brilliant ball game. And Bryant is hit on the reach in. He'll go to the foul line with 44 seconds remaining. For the Nets, you need a miracle. You have to hope that a veteran championship team like the Lakers goes totally asleep. And uh, I guess that miracle won't be forthcoming because Anthony Johnson comes in. Kid goes out. Wow. Martin is going out. It's a six point game. A little early. Think. Still have a shot. I, I know Byron Scott's trying to do the right thing. He wanted to have the crowd respond to Kenny Martin and Jason Kidd, but anything could happen here. 44 seconds to go. And the Lakers now lead by seven. The crowd chanting its appreciation of Jason Kidd with the MVP mantra here. Well, it's been a remarkable turnaround by the Nets. 26 wins a year ago. Jason Kidd, the catalyst in the way this uh, team was able to respond. 52 and 30 during the regular season and the playoffs. They beat Indiana three games to two in that grueling first round series. They knock off Charlotte in five, beat Boston in six. Hitting the Celtics three straight after that devastating loss in game three, blowing the 21 point fourth quarter lead down by as many as, as 26 points. The important thing for New Jersey is where they go from here. In terms of Kenyon Martin continuing his progress and trying to resurrect Kittles and Van Horn, the progress of the big guys here. seconds remaining in the season. Mitch Richmond to the fadeaway. <laughs> oh, the Laker bench going wild. Mitch Richmond able to score for the first time in the NBA Finals. Here's Harris from downtown with 11 seconds to go. It's a six-point Laker lead. They isolated for Mitch that time. And they're giving it to him. Oh, he's just going to run it out right now. What class. The Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. They wrap it up in the four-game sweep by beating the Nets 113 to 107. And Phil Jackson has equaled Red Auerbach's record of nine NBA titles. Kobe Bryant, the Lakers and their fans are ready to celebrate as Ariza goes to the line. Certainly a tough way for the season to end for the Orlando Magic, but you can make the same statement. This is their best season in franchise history. 59 wins, first time making the finals in 14 years. First finals victory in franchise history. Stan Van Gundy and his team, what an amazing playoff run. Down 2-1 to one to Philly, come back and win. Beat the defending champion Celtics in Boston in a game seven. Beat amazing numbers from LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, a 66-win team. They were the first team in the history of the NBA playoffs to face three teams that had won 60-plus games. And they took the Lakers, or made them battle and made them fight two difficult overtime losses. But what a great, great year it's been for the Orlando Magic. So hard to end on this note. As Odom looking, and he's bumped. And they're a young team as well, but they've got some decisions to make in the offseason. Ito Turkoglu can opt out of his contract. Most likely he will do that. There'll be a lot of teams wanting to sign him. Ray for Austin will be back, but as you mentioned earlier, Jeff, the decision of Ray for Austin and Jameer Nelson on the same team. Marcin Gortat is a free agent as well. He's been a valuable player. But they had so much development, the development of Dwight Howard. This year, the Defensive Player of the Year. All-Stars in Rashad Lewis and Jameer Nelson. The play of Michael Petris and Courtney Lee, the rookie. We've got a new arena coming for the Magic soon. And what a great job Stan Van Gundy did all season long. And again, this team went a lot further than many thought. Cleveland and Boston were the favorites.
but it was Orlando that made it to the finals. A reminder, shop NBAstore.com for the best selection of Magic and Lakers finals gear, including the Magic versus Lakers finals t-shirt. NBAstore.com, one store, every team. I know this, it's hard for you to watch your brother go down in defeat tonight, Jeff, but I know there's also a lot of pride for what he and his Magic accomplished this year. Well, there's no question. They had, as you said, a great, great year, and they met a an opponent that was superior to them in the first game and this game. The, the middle three games of this series were very close, but this game, the Lakers showed their greatness. You know, I sit back as I watch the Lakers celebrate and I think about Shaquille O'Neal. If he's watching, what could he be thinking right now? Because this is a team, they're not finished right now. This is a team that's gonna have to be dealt with for years to come. We saw Phil Jackson there before. No head coach has won more NBA championships than Phil Jackson, number 10. One more than the late, great Red Auerbach. He's now winner of 10 of the last 19 NBA titles. A magnificent accomplishment. The question, will he be back? It's not definite. He's got a year left on his contract. He said it depends on his health. This would certainly be quite a way to go out. Lewis flips it in. And a foul. Hooray for Austin. We'll finish up with some free throws. They do it in five games. And they do it impressively with a tremendous all-around performance from Kobe Bryant. How about Trevor Ariza? What a talented young player. They simply don't win without his contributions during the playoffs. Well, I think you're talking about Orlando has some key decisions. So, too, do the Lakers. Lamar Odom, Trevor Ariza, those are big decisions. They lose either guy. That will seriously impact their ability to repeat. You look at Odom, the roller coaster ride he's had, always the subject of trade rumors. He's had his ups and downs off and on the court. Maybe that makes this moment so much sweeter for him. And he's on top of his game, one of the most versatile players in the NBA, and now he's going to have an NBA championship ring. And Derek Fisher, we talk about Brian and his fourth title. Fisher as well. These two will join Shaq and Duncan as most championships among active players. And I like that Phil Jackson leaving this group on the floor. Letting him get one final ovation. The shot clock's going to wind down, then the Magic will inbound. Many of the Magic fans still here as they'll want to applaud their Orlando Magic for their accomplishments this year. And they're also a number of Laker fans that have been here throughout the arena ready to celebrate a championship. There's the final seconds. As the buzzer sounds, it's official. The Lakers are NBA champions once again. L.A. wins the 2009 NBA title. Brian looking. Our test. That's a three. Bang! Lakers by six with a minute to play. 20 points for Ron Artest. Under a minute remaining. Wallace back out to Rondo. Another three. Ray Allen from deep in the corner. Odom drives. Rondo trying to knock it away. Three consecutive three-pointers. Here are the final 90 seconds. And why aren't they matched up? Why is Rondo on Lamar Odom and Pal Gasol? Bryant for three. Won't go. Gasol, the rebound. Kicks it back out to Bryant. Drives to the basket. And he's fouled. A blocking foul on Wallace. And Bryant will shoot two. The coach, exactly what you talked about. Because of the not matching up. Rondo's forced to defend Pau Gasol, and he gets the offensive ball. And he has no chance to rebound with the length of Gasol. And they had plenty of opportunity. That's just. Uh, that foul on Rasheed Wallace, his sixth, so he is out. And now Kobe Bryant will shoot two with the Lakers holding on to this three-point lead, 25.7 remaining. 
Oh, Rasheed Wallace fouling out the game. He has a guy all game long, all season long, telling his coach and the Celtics organization, I'm going to be ready when it matters most. He certainly responded. Give him credit. Outstanding postseason for Wallace. Kobe Bryant, 6 of 7 from the free throw line here in this fourth quarter. Lakers with 23 offensive rebounds. The Celtics still with two timeouts remaining. Neither team with a foul to give. Some big shots down the stretch. How about Ron Artest with his second three-pointer? And how about the trust? Bryant makes the play. Instead of trying to go for the home run, takes the double team and gets the ball to Artest, and he does the rest. And you got to be happy for Ron Artest. It down. Our test had his highs and lows during the course of the regular season and even in the playoffs. But he's come up with some huge performances. First, remember in the conference finals against Phoenix, he had that tip in the follow to win game five, then had 25 points in game six. His terrific defense on Paul Pierce has been a big part of these NBA finals. All right, now 81 76 still. 25.7 remaining. It's certainly not over for the Boston Celtics, but they're going to need some very quick buckets, Jeff, correct? Well, exactly. And again, you've got to give a, a very good look to a quick two, or if the three opens up, you got to knock it in. But you've got, you can't waste a lot of time getting into what you're doing. They want for the Lakers again. They were down 13 in the third quarter, struggling offensively all game long. Kobe Bryant struggling shooting the basketball, but all of a sudden, other different guys stepping up and making huge plays. Well, they found a way to get it done on the defensive end until their offense came alive. Give them credit. When they needed stops most, they got it done. And to me, it was all about getting into the penalty early. They lived in the penalty. They lived on the line, and that's how they were able to overcome the deficit. Allen, Garnett, Rondo, Nate Robinson. Robinson, a very good three-point shooter. Watch frequently on these plays. The guy who inbounds the pass gets it back. Robinson, though, is cold, hasn't played in a while. Allen fires a three. Short. Rebound lost. Picked up by Rondo. Rondo puts up a three. Puts it in. Rondo from downtown. A two-point game with 16.2 remaining. They have to foul. Rondo reaching in. And there's the foul. Or do they say it's just Laker ball? They're saying Lakers ball out of bounds off of Rondo. Yep. So now the Lakers will call timeout. 81-79, an unlikely three-pointer for Rajon Rondo. His first attempt from downtown in the game. And it keeps the Celtics' hopes alive. And the effort of Rondo to come up with the ball. Give credit to the Celtics. This team has no quit in them. Finding a way to still grind it out and give themselves a chance. Rondo chasing down the loose ball. Knocks down the three. It's been like that all season for the Celtics and then here in the playoffs. But they're still down two. All right, Jeff. You, obviously, you try and steal the inbounds. How long do you wait? You try a couple of passes before you foul or do you foul right away? I'm going to foul right away. I what you really need is time on the clock. And the officials right now are reviewing who the ball went out off of. And clearly to me, that's Rondo. But you don't have time to waste right here. Yep, Joe Crawford had a perfect look at it as Rondo deflected it. Rondo, the NBA steals leader, trying to come up with the biggest steal of his life. But knocked it out of bounds. And now, of course, getting the ball inbounds is huge. Off the timeout, they advance the ball to the front court, and they can throw it in the backcourt. And if you're the Celtics, dictate who catches the basketball by overplaying Bryant Fisher. Make a bad free throw shooter go to the line or increase your percentages by fouling. And I'm surprised Boston didn't put a bigger man on the ball. They have Nate Robinson playing in a center field position right here. Odom looking, finds Vujicic, and 
Vujicic is fouled. Vujicic has only played five minutes, hasn't been to the free throw line. He's an excellent free throw shooter for his career at 88%. But here in these finals, he's only been to the line four total times. That shows you the confidence that Phil Jackson has in him. Has him in the ball game, understanding the ball will find him. And he believes that he's an outstanding free throw shooter and the time won't change. Huge free throws here. Having to step up, not playing much in a pressure situation. NBA Finals Game 7. Vujicic, the 25-year-old from Slovenia, with a chance to make it a four-point game. Oh, clutch free throws from Sasha Vujicic. And Doc Rivers calls his final timeout. Lakers by four with 11.7. Just inserted into the game, Vujicic. Again, I don't know if he was calm, but he looked it at the free throw line. Two perfect free throws. And Kobe Bryant, ever so closer to a fifth championship. All right, key here now, Boston, out of timeouts. They obviously have to score as soon as they can, whether it's a three or a two, right, Mark? It's got to be quick. You can't fall in love with the three-point line. It'd be ideal if you get a three-point shot, but you have to score quick. And then you can't. You got to foul whoever catches the basketball. The time, the clock is not your friend, so it's important to score quick and then foul immediately. Looking to steal also. Well, because you have no more timeouts left, so you really have to make sure you get the ball in right here. Robinson, Allen, Pierce, Garnett. And Rondo, Rondo will inbound. 11.7 seconds remaining in a four-point game. NBA championship coming down to the final seconds. Gil Lamar to playing inbounds passing. You should recognize where the shooters are coming off. Rondo looking, gets it to Pierce. Pierce turns back out. Rondo fakes. Dribbles, puts up the three, won't go. Rebound to Saul, kicks it out to Odom. Odom throws it ahead. The Lakers repeat back-to-back -back titles. The LA Lakers, the 2010 NBA champions. 